Shalom party people and welcome to the 12th C. It is October 14th, 2022, day 13 of 75 hard for me. I ran this morning at 6 a.m. It was 37 degrees Fahrenheit, did three miles in 27 minutes with a brother. I did 100 pull-ups and 200 kettlebell swings. So needless to say, I'm going to be sore. A recap from yesterday, I ended up weighing 197.2 pounds. 197.2 pounds. Blah, 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 blah. I did take my photo, drank my gallon, ran three miles, did 300 push-ups. I was walking and stretching as well. Jeremiah 45 through Lamentations 2. Had a beef and cheese omelet with hash browns out to breakfast with a brother and our kiddos. It was a whole lot of fun. Uh, did Hawaiian chicken, spinach, broccoli, carrots. All of three of those vegetables were raw. The Hawaiian chicken had some very wonderful rice with it. And I had some hummus to help the broccoli go down. Uh, also for a snack, I did no sugar added crackers, no sugar added dry fruits, and some nuts as well. And then had autumn squash soup with beef noodles kind of thrown inside to make that extra tasty. Also did some homemade bread. <laughs> oh, I love homemade bread. It's delicious. And then had some raw spinach as well. I've been reading in the 48 Laws of Power. And I think that uh, it is a very, very intriguing book. Uh, one thing that I like about it is that it's pointing out all of these facets that are keys to somebody gaining and maintaining power. And I think it's a really good way to look out for the people that are in power already. And like, hey, these are the tips, tricks, and tactics that they are using to kind of pushed down with their thumbs on all of us and maybe a good way to spot whether someone's really genuine or not because uh, I think there's a lot of people who are in control that are just playing that game uh, doesn't mean that these aren't tactics and tricks that we can't use obviously yesterday I was talking about being a man of few words I don't want to ramble so much that I just beat a dead horse Another thing that I've picked up so far that I, I think is very good to implement uh, is that you need to win your arguments with your actions, not your words. And so, yes, that's playing into the whole action speak louder than words thing. And there's a really interesting anecdote in the book about how Michelangelo makes a guy think that he's changing a sculpture on request um, when he knows that the changing of that sculpture will ultimately ruin it so he kind of underhandedly like takes some marble dust in his hand and pretends to chisel and he drops some of the dust while he's chiseling and the guy who made the request is like oh yes it does look much better and then that guy who made the request thinks that he helped michelangelo and michelangelo knows that he hasn't changed anything and the the whole point in that is the you know, by by your action, you have changed somebody's perspective and not um, changed your arguments per se. And it, it was a interesting to to chew on. And I I don't want to be a deceptive person that does something along those lines. Um, but something that I do want to uh, make applicable from that is showing others. Uh, what I mean when I say, instead of just saying it and not doing it, uh, is that we need to look at ourselves in the mirror and maybe our actions and our words aren't lining up. And that's something that, you know, needs to be rectified is either we don't believe what we're saying or we don't mean it either. And we, you know, just half-heartedly and then we don't do it or we do do it, but we don't do it right. Uh, we don't do it with, you know, the, the real fervor that we mean. Um, our actions will reveal what's really in here. And that, you know, what's on the surface is fine and well, but what's underneath will come out when we show, when we do. Uh, what came to mind, Isaiah 29, 13, and then this is actually quoted by Messiah in Matthew 15, 8, is talking about um, 
people honoring the Father with their lips, but their hearts are far from him and their actions reveal that. And that's a paraphrase, obviously. But I also thought of the Batman quote from Batman Begins when uh, Bruce Wayne is talking to his love interest and is, oh, hey, what you see isn't who I really am. You know, it's, it's who I am underneath. And then she points out it's not who you are underneath, but it's what you do that defines you. And, you know, obviously the audience knows that what he's doing is all a facade because he's trying to maintain his secret identity, which Bruce Wayne is actually Batman's secret identity. Batman is really who, who he is. Uh, just a fun tidbit. But, but yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to be the, the kind of person that my actions and my words don't line up. I want my actions to... Um, show who, what my heart really is. And obviously I, I want the Father to be working in my heart with the Holy Spirit and to to make me the man that I ought to be and make me a man after his own heart. And I want my actions to, to show that. I obviously also want to be very disciplined. And I want that discipline and conditioning to uh, be factors in what makes this wretched heart in here into something that is worthy of following him because it's not anything I do, it's what he does in me and I want what he does in me to inspire me to be better as well. So yeah, go do hard things.